Yo, what the hell's up? Welcome back to Reviews with Jake, where I just got done watching Project Power on Netflix. Project Power is the story about a pill being released in underground New Orleans that gives you superpowers for five minutes. What superpower you are given for five minutes varies from person to person. You might become super fast, invincible, become the human torch, or just blow the f*** up and die. Basically, it's the X-Men meets Limitless in New Orleans. I repeat, this movie takes place in New Orleans. This movie takes place in New Orleans. This movie takes place in New Orleans. I'm just beating you upside the head with it now, so you're ready for it when you press play on the movie. But on to the topic at hand here, I love movies like this, with this interesting exploration with interesting perspectives into kind of geek culture. From fantasy creature type stuff from Netflix's Bright and Onward this year, to superhero stuff like The Boys and this movie. I feel like it's movies like this that can sort of act as a gateway to introduce new people, new audiences to stuff like this that otherwise wouldn't give it the time of day. Like going back to The Boys, I've been recommending that show to people because I freaking loved it, but right when I mention it's about superhero, there's a lot of people that aren't on the bandwagon yet, and they're like, I don't really like superhero stuff. And I'm usually like, yeah, it's a superhero show, but it isn't. It is, but it isn't. There's still a lot of people out there that look at stuff like this, and just when they hear geeky-ass terms like these, like, you know, they put their walls up, and they don't want to hear it. So kind of movies like this that have these interesting concepts and perspectives they almost disguise it. You don't really realize that you're watching something quote-unquote dorky or geeky. I mean, maybe not realizing it isn't the best way to put it, but maybe just forgetting that you're watching that. So in that sense, it's kind of good for both people. The people that enjoy this kind of stuff anyway, it's at least a new interesting perspective so you don't feel like you're watching the same thing over and over. And on the flip side, it kind of introduces new people into the genre. Sort of pulls off a Trojan horse in a sense, you know? It kind of gives you a superhero movie in a way that's easier to digest, a pill that's easier to swallow. Well, that worked out, didn't it? So kicking off the pros, we start with this concept. This is a cool ass rabbit hole to dive into. Concepts like this is kind of like world building for a filmmaker and storyteller. It allows them to establish their own rules, create its own lore, have people living within this world, and kind of dive into how they react to what this world is. This reaction of people in society is worth exploring because honestly, if superpowers just appeared out of nowhere, just thrust onto the scene, it would have a certain reaction and there would be ripples. I mean, this is kind of a stretch of a comparison, but if you look at COVID-19 back in March when it first arrived in the U.S., we had no idea how to deal with it. People were sweeping the shelves of stores for freaking out, grabbing toilet paper and whatnot. I mean, no one knew how to deal with this thing because it was so new. But if you look at us now, how many months later, I wouldn't say we're veterans to a pandemic and pandemic lifestyles, but we certainly aren't freaking out like we used to be. So this is key, especially when you consider like the MCU, because according to the MCU, superheroes and this kind of stuff always existed, like even before the first Iron Man movie. I mean, so it's a world there that has kind of been desensitized in a sense to superhero stuff. Whereas in this movie, this is completely new, and it's worth kind of diving into that reactionary phase. I mean, damn, it is a wide array of results that can vary from popping this pill in this movie. So many different superpowers, some that have the glamour of being a superhero and then the X-Men or MCU, while others just look like a straight nightmare scenario. Sort of this brutal, epic game of Russian roulette every time someone pops a pill in this movie, and every time they do, it usually leads to some pretty cool sequences. I also gotta say that this movie had some fantastic style to it. This is a beautiful looking movie, some great cinematography, a lot of really vibrant colors and dramatic lighting, just super intense saturation in every frame from start to finish that just gave this movie a certain energy to it. Made it feel surreal, like, like, a, like a comic book or a cartoon or a painting. However, with that goes some post-production woes. We start the cons with some pretty choppy editing. The cutting in this movie from start to finish was very jarring. It was almost like psychedelic by nature, which is probably a creative decision, but I didn't really like it. It wasn't very smooth, wasn't seamless. It was very sporadic, random, and abrupt. It also had some rather questionable CGI, especially when we compared it to other films of this genre. I mean, virtually all the powers that are featured in this movie, you've seen them other places, whether it's in the MCU, 
MCU, the DCEU, the X-Men, I mean, whatever. You've seen all these powers before, and you've seen them done better. I mean, it wasn't awful. It works for the most part, but it's still meh enough to land into the con section. I also really didn't like the writing or dialogue in this movie. I mean, this movie's tone was just all over the place. You got half-assed attempts at humor that weren't very funny, forced exchanges, you got rapping in there randomly. I mean, they just tried to cram just way too much in there and just felt like the movie was just kind of cherry-picking different elements and just tossed them into a basket. I mean, it kind of goes back to what I said about Old Guard a couple weeks ago, that it's very hard to really balance all these different tones, and this movie tries to do the same thing and falls flat. Just hitting all these extreme highs of different emotions, and they just feel like cartoon characters. None of it feels believable. Which absolutely can work, don't get me wrong, but they have to sort of commit to that. Like, half of this movie tries to be gritty and grounded in reality, while the other half just kind of said, F*** it, let's go for it. Moments where they weren't trying to be serious. They clearly just wanted to go with this concept, let it rip, have fun with it. This film has an R rating and it's very earned. There are moments where people just explode into puddles of blood and guts go all over the place and there are puddles everywhere. And as sick as that makes me sound, I wanted more of that because that would have been them embracing the ridiculousness of this concept and over-the-top, unbelievable characters feel at home in a ridiculous, over-the-top movie. You have to sort of set a precedent for your movie, like Extraction on Netflix with Chris Hemsworth. Very bloody and brutal throughout the whole thing, so when these bloody moments happen, you're just kind of, okay, it's one of these kind of movies. I'm ready for it. You enjoy the ride. But when really bloody moments happen in this movie, just kind of here and there, it just feels random. Like, they just kind of, like, dip their toes into it. I mean, this concept, you can do so much with it. I was really hoping for an exclamation point ending, like a cabin in the woods type deal, where like a big room of people just all start popping the pills and they just start beating the hell out of each other, blood everywhere. I mean, I wanted to see that. I mean, that would have been a good way to end this ludicrous concept of a movie. I was just waiting for this movie to jump to that level at any point, whether it's the end or anything. I wanted more of this concept, but it felt like it was just kind of holding back. This movie was fighting with one arm tied behind its back the whole time. Believe it or not, there are a lot of superhero movies nowadays. We've seen a lot of things of this variety, so show us something that we haven't seen before. I mean, it's hard in this genre, but it's possible. This movie and this concept had all the ingredients to pull it off. And at moments, it felt like it was trying to but it just didn't want to commit to it dive in with both feet and that is disappointing my final grade for this movie is kind of like what i had going with old guard a couple weeks ago in the consistency of the rules and its limits this movie has a strict five minute limit on superpowers at a time in this movie so much so when they pop a pill some people hit a stopwatch to count down five minutes so they know when they're about to lose their powers however there are plenty of moments in this movie where i feel like that five minute limit was stretched a little bit like borderline impossible to say that that was five minutes and sometimes it felt shorter than five minutes it just didn't feel consistent there are several ways that you could have fixed or addressed that the easiest one is probably just to show them pop another pill have them hiding up against a corner while the mayhems happen over there pop a quick pill buy another five minutes easy however my preferred way of handling this would be to just remove the strict five minute thing altogether why because it doesn't make any damn sense the ability that you gain from popping one of these pills varies from person to person depending on you know genetics and science stuff so you already established that there are variants from person to person so in theory assuming that all these pills have the same dosage of whatever the hell is in them there's no way that it could be strictly five minutes to the dot in every single person that's like saying every single person is going to take this entire shot this 50 milliliter shooter of fireball will be drunk for 12 minutes flat no more no less everyone that doesn't make any damn sense. There needs to be variance from person to person on the time, just like there is on the ability. And I get it, yes, a movie has to movie. Shut up, JQ pompous ass. But really, when it all boils down, if you ask me, that's an infinitely cooler concept anyway. You pop this pill, you are given a superpower that will be temporary. It may be for an hour, it might be for a week, it might be for 10 seconds. Who knows, it all varies from person to person. That's cool! I feel like that ultimately gives you an even cooler concept because no one knows what their power is going to be and when it's going to go away. It might be in the middle of while you're fighting a cave troll because apparently that's a superpower according to this movie. You had somewhat of a level playing field against this adversary but suddenly your powers fade and his are still going. Now what? Am I saying that I just wrote a better movie just now? 
Not necessarily, but what I am saying is if you hear a movie or see a movie that sounds like the movie I just described, check the upload date here because I want some royalties. All in all, I think this movie had a very cool concept that did some decently cool things with it, but ultimately kind of didn't really do it any justice. It was fine, but I wouldn't say it's anything to write home about. I'm going to give Project Power a C+. But that's just me. What do you guys think? Let me know if you agree or disagree in the comments below. And make sure you're subscribed to this channel to stay up to date on new reviews coming real soon. Stay safe and thanks for checking in.